Our final guest tore it up on the diamond at the University of Iowa after spending his prep days at Bennett Academy. Chris Whalen has a stellar resume. He was the conference offensive player of the year his senior year in high school, hitting a mind-blowing 434. And of course, preceding all of that, day spent at the plate in Naperville Little League. Thank you so much for joining me, Chris. Yeah, thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. Now, when did you know you wanted to play baseball through high school, through college? Did that happen while you were playing in Little League? Um, the idea was definitely fostered at that time, but mainly because I just wanted to play with my friends and play baseball as long as I could. You know, there was never really a thought of, of playing college or, or trying to play professional baseball. It was more just, you know, try to get to the next year to play with your buddies. And, you know, it was a game I fell in love with at a very, very young age. Um, after watching my brothers go through the, the neighborhood Little League program, um, and watching their games at the beach and knock park and Nike park and just soaking it all in. So it was more of a, of a survival mindset. I just didn't want it to end. So, um, you know, fortunately I had uh, enough tools to, to get me to the next level and the next level and the next level. So, um, that's kind of how it shook out. Did you or any of your brothers ever make it to championship day? Uh, no, neither of us ever did. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I know, I know. I think uh, the closest we got was fourth or fifth place or something like that. Um, but no, we, we never got to compete for a championship. When you think back on your days playing in the Naperville Little League, what are some of the, like, the, the really visual memories that you have? Do you have any of those? Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the biggest ones actually is, and I'm, uh, I actually think he's still a coach um, in Naperville Little League, is uh, Coach Keneally. Um, he intentionally walked me a few times, actually, um, when my, my uh, uncle from New York was in town, and he doesn't come in town very often. And he was pretty upset that uh, I was getting intentionally walked because he wanted to see me hit. Um, and he stood up out of his chair and was yelling at the other team. Uh, I mean, Coach Keneally, I'm sure we can all laugh about that now, but uh, that was one of, the, one of the better memories I had. That's, that's a, uh, a compliment, and it's also, I'm sure, really frustrating because all you want to do is hit, right? Right, yeah, I'm an 11-year-old kid. I just want to swing <laughs> the bat. <laughs> it's your fault for being too good at that point. Um, but uh, <laughs> what, what really equipped you with the skills? Did that... Was it the coaches at the Naperville Little League level? Was it just the amount you got to play? It was everything. I mean, it's the first opportunity you really get to, to play some solid competition. Um, you get some of the best kids in the area all on one team. And, I mean, that, that's where you really learn the foundations of playing baseball. You know, I, I played in the backyard. I played in the, the sandlot, if you will. Um, but getting that, that actual team camaraderie and, and that structure that comes along with it and the instruction that the coaches offer – um, that's where it all starts. And, and that's where really the building blocks are, you know, are founded in, in Naperville Little League. So it was, it was incredible. As a Division I athlete, you're one of the minority that, you know, starts in a Little League and then <laughs> makes it through to, to play D1. Um, what advice would you have for some of the little ones right now that are making their way through the system? The best piece of advice I have is, is to not – take everything so seriously and that is is something I learned at a young age because we're all we're all out there still trying to have fun you know even when I was a 21 year old or a 22 year old my my fifth year senior year at Iowa I still ran out to that field like I was taking the field at, at Nike Park or, or the beach you know it's you got to have that little kid mindset and it's, it's really hard for young kids to to understand that but the game does end um, it ends for everybody at some point and, and you're just trying to get it to the next year and, and you're just trying to make it so that game doesn't end for you. Um, but if you can have that mindset, man, it's, it's all sunshine and rainbows for you. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful game and, uh, I was just lucky enough to play it as long as I did. I know it's over a decade ago, but, uh, what kind of life lessons, if there were any that you uh, learned when you were spending time playing baseball in, in Naperville Little League? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, just being a good teammate and being a good person. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's one of the first times that you're you're grouped together with a bunch of different kids from the area that you might have not, you know, got a chance to to know before, or talk to before, um, and just kind of breaking out of your shell and meeting new kids and and getting outside your comfort zone. Um, I think that is completely invaluable um, for a lot of kids these days, and it's a great life lesson to learn in early stages to really get outside your comfort zone and push yourself. Um, because great things happen when you do that. 
Last thing I'll ask you is there's this community aspect that's a really big piece of this whole thing. And you get to play either with your friends or I, I would even argue, which is more fun, playing against your friends in a Little <laughs> League setting. Um, what kind of memories do you have playing against some of your better friends? Oh, man, uh, too many to count. Uh, there were there were countless memories of kids in my grade school, some of my best friends. Um, unfortunately, I always wanted to be on their team, um, but that's not how it shook out. And yeah, more times than not, I was playing against them, but it was always fun to just, you know, give crap to each other, um, see each other in, in the classroom the next day and being like, hey, I struck you out or I, I hit a double off you. So, I mean, that was that was always fun for 11 and 12 year olds to do because, you know, that was that was the place to do it. That was the street cred you had is, is you know, how well you did in that Little League game. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thank you guys for, for having me on, man. It, it was awesome.